Hi, okay, today we're going to be making um, black currant, uh, dehydrated black currant fruit leather. And um, this is an example of the finished product. It's, uh, this was done last year. It's, uh, yeah, it's basically dehydrated black currant mixed in with um, some ground chia seeds and flax and maybe some coconut. So uh, that's the finished product. Um, this is more of the finished product, just cut up into squares. And um, it's a really tasty, good energy food. So what we've done is um, these are these are our berries that we're going to be. You can you can fill down. These are our berries that we've uh, we've picked, we've washed, and they're they're dried as well. There's black currants and some gooseberries and um, tayberries in there, which are a hybrid of black currants and gooseberries. So this is what we're starting with. This will be our uh, solar dehydrator. It's just an old trailer with uh, bamboo. Right, that was an old shelving unit. And we're going to lay our finished product on some muslin that was used last year and uh, cover it with this uh, clear plexiglass and, um, and then we'll let the sun do its thing and uh, make our fruit leather. Uh, this is step two of the process to make uh, fruit leather. Um, so we've we've got our berries here uh, these are the black currants, and here are some gooseberries. And basically, what we're doing is we're we're just putting these into the blender, and uh, you know, mix mix the berries. We're putting them into the blender. giving them a spin. So we'll be processing all the berries like that in the same way and at the same time we're going to be grinding chia seeds and uh, flax seeds in a coffee grinder. So basically we've got our chia seeds and flax seeds. Also we might be adding some coconut um, and some raw agave ne nectar sweeten it up a bit. Okay, so we just we're gonna grind a, a batch of chia seeds bit by bit in the coffee grinder. And these will help to soak up the moisture a lot and uh, it'll be easier to then to dry dry our fruit leather when we've got the ground uh, ground chia and ground flax or linseed. So um, we'll be back when we've got all this done, the berries ready. Okay, now uh, we're ready. We have our we have our berries that are <coughs> have been uh, blended up. And uh, now we're going to add dry ingredients to help to soak up the moisture of the berries. So we have chia seeds here. We'll add these in. These will all really soak up um, any excess moisture and help our fruit leather to dry. So chia is an excellent um, energy food used by uh, the Aztecs way back when. 
Next we've got our flax, linseed. Divide that up, mix it in. Next we've got sesame, ground sesame seeds. Next comes ground coconut. Then for a bit of a kick we've got ground cocoa nibs. That's raw uh, cocoa nibs. It's the foundation for chocolate. So we'll just mix that up a little bit. And, uh, get the berries. This one. And uh, what we'll do next is add in the agave syrup sweetener. Just add a little bit of sweetness, counteract the berries. Uh, I'm going to add a bit of psyllium husk again to soak up moisture. And then finally comes coconut oil. And that'll also solidify nicely when it cools. Okay, so it's going to take a little while to uh, mix all this up. Um, we'll be right back when, uh, when we have this mixed and we're going to let it sit for uh, you know an hour or so while we have lunch. And then uh, it should be ready to spread then on the, uh, on the muslin for drying. We're spreading the mixture on these um, Excalibur sheets that are made for food dehydration. Um, it's just a safe form of plastic. Or uh, actually, I don't know what it is. It's I think it's made of Teflex, which is like a, a special food grade material. So basically, it just means spreading out on the sheets. Now, the main bulk of our mixture is going to be spread out on muslin outside in the solar dehydrator. Um, so let's go out there, I'll finish this later. This is the solar dehydrator. Um, I've taken the boards from underneath just to allow more air to, to flow. Um, I'm going to put down the muslin that was used from berries last year. That's why it's so stained. And I'm just going to lay out the muslin on the back of the rack. And then we're going to apply our mixture. And we're going to uh, Actually, 
doing this this way, I realized it's not the best way. It was difficult to get the uh, the fruit leather off the uh, the muslin. In future, I'd use just a plastic sheet, and then as soon as it's almost dry, remove it from the plastic sheet and dry it in the solar dehydrator as usual until it's bone dry.